Hello children, welcome once again to our online session. As you know, we are discussing the lesson reproduction in animals. Okay, today we are going to discuss the part 2. In the previous session, we discussed why do animals reproduce. So, why do animals reproduce? They reproduce so that the life on the earth can continue. Okay, mostly the animals, they grow and they grow in a stage wise. That is the life cycle. They grow old, they die and the life cycle is complete. And they also reproduce in two ways. The animals, some animals, they give birth to their young ones. While some animals, they reproduce by laying eggs. We also saw some examples of the animals which reproduce by giving birth to their young ones. Okay. And these animals are, are called mammals who feed with their own milk. The mother and the mother of the baby, they feed uh, their young ones with its own milk. And then they look after the young ones. The, the baby is born out of the body of the mother. Until then it stays in the body of the mother for some weeks or some months also. And then when it becomes developed, then it comes out of the body of the mother. And this type of animals are called mammals. Right? Then, so today we will study about the animals that lay eggs. Okay? In connection with this, there are many animals which give birth through by laying eggs. They lay eggs and when the, the baby is matured enough in the egg, it hatches out of the egg. Right? The animals that lay eggs, here are some pictures which, uh, uh, which lay eggs and reproduce. They are the birds. Tortoise, frogs, snakes, fish, crocodile, many are there. Okay, here only few few examples are given. So today we will first see about how the birds hatch out of the means baby birds hatch out of the egg, or you can say how the birds lay eggs and the baby birds hatch out of its its egg. Right. So as you know, most of the birds they have their own nest they live in the nest they have their own nest and in the nest the mother bird then it lay eggs in the nest and after the eggs are laid the mother take care of the of the eggs now before that i will tell you about the structure of an egg right Many of you must be eating egg. Okay. It is also the same uh, egg as the bird's egg. Right. That is also what you eat is also a bird's egg. So the structure is as the outer side. As you know, you must, you have seen it. The outer portion of the egg is called the shell and it is white in color. Right. And inside the, when you break open the egg, Okay, when you break open the egg, you will find some liquid, right? That is, one is white color and another is yellow color, yellow in color, okay? So, the yellow color is called the yolk. In the center of the egg, the yellow portion you will find when you break open the egg, you will find that is the yolk, okay? And this yolk contains the food, for what? For the embryo. What is embryo? Embryo is a small developing baby inside the yolk. Okay. It is, it is usually red in color on the top of the yolk you will find. That is embryo. And the food required by this embryo is provided by the yolk. Right. And besides the yellow color yolk, other white liquid is also there. And that is called the albumin. Okay, this albumin it protects the embryo and it also provides water and proteins to it. Right, so the outer portion is the shell. Inside, when you break open the shell, you will find yolk and the embryo. 
and other things are also there you will see in this picture this is the picture of an egg okay so let us study all the different parts of the egg so this is the shell outer covering okay the yellow color is the yolk see it is highlighted in the center of the egg is yellow portion called the yolk and yolk contains food for the embryo okay another is albumin in other slides i will show you highlighted uh, other parts that are highlighted okay then here is the inner membrane and then outer membrane inner membrane means the membrane which is which is inside the shell inside the shell or outer membrane is after the inner membrane means that is the outside outside of the inner membrane okay but these all are inside the shell here is the air cell air cell means the space for which the embryo from which the embryo can breathe the air right see here other part is other part means embryo is highlighted here the top of the yolk developing baby is called the embryo right another see here this is the white portion is highlighted that is the albumin surrounding the yolk i told you the yellow color is yolk and surrounding the yolk the white liquid is called the albumin okay you also called it call it as egg white it provides the water and protein to the embryo and it also protects the embryo right see here now what happens after the eggs are laid as i told you the mother mother bird take care of the egg and what it does it sits on the egg why to keep them warm okay means this is called called as incubation the process is called incubation incubation means the birds or the eggs are kept warm how by the mother bird usually the mother bird it sits on the eggs to keep them warm means to incubate them okay and as the incubation is going on the small baby inside the egg it is growing inside it starts growing inside the egg until it is fully grown okay until it is fully grown it becomes little matured and then it hatches out of the out of the egg see here is the picture of a baby a, a mother bird sitting on the egg means this is the process of incubation the baby bird the mother bird is sitting on the eggs right and the baby bird starts growing inside the egg right and see here after few weeks of incubation when the baby is developed inside the egg it breaks open the shell and it comes out means it hatches out of the egg see here you can see the picture how cute the baby bird is looking it is out it is it has just hatched out of the egg by breaking open the shell of an egg right and then it is still weak it cannot fly okay it cannot fly and find its own food so the parent bird see the next picture the parent bird is feeding the baby bird the parent has to the parent bird has to look after the baby bird and it also feeds and it protects the young bird until they can look after themselves until it is able to fly right so this is how the birds baby bird hatch out of the egg right now here is the picture of a, of an egg structure of an egg what you have to do this is an activity you have to label the diagram correctly okay why because you have to learn this uh, this diagram practice it by drawing it okay first we will label it right see here this arrow what is it outermost you also can tell yes i know you know it it is a shell okay this is the shell of an egg right another yellow yellow color uh, portion it is 
योग ये वेरी गुड इट इज योग एंड ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द योग इज द एम्ब्रियो ये सो राइट हियर इज द डेवलपिंग बेबी दैट इज कॉल्ड एम्ब्रियो ये एंड द वाइट पोर्शन ये इट इज द एल्ब्यूमिन it is the albumin right ha huh? now this inner membrane outer membrane and here one more arrow is there that is the air cell okay the space from where the embryo can breathe yes so this is air cell okay so we have labeled the diagram i will now i will show the nice uh, slide where the labels are seen here i have written with i try to write it but now i'll show you the the another diagram with the uh, with the labeling done so these are the labels right so you will you will practice this diagram you draw this diagram okay from the book also you can draw those who are not having the book can look into the slide and practice the drawing okay you will enjoy so that now i will end this session in the next part we will look into the animals other animals which also reproduce by laying eggs till then do the revision and take care